real gas law problem today. Let's start off by reading the problem. Oxygen gas generated in an experiment is collected at 25 degrees Celsius in a bottle inverted in a trough of water. The external laboratory pressure is 1.0 atm. When the water level in the originally filled bottle has fallen to the level in the trough, the volume of collected gas is 1,750 milliliters. How many moles of oxygen gas are, have been collected? Okay, since it's an ideal gas law problem, we're going to be using the ideal gas law equation. That's written out as PV equals nRT, or pervnert. Okay, since we're solving for the number of moles, we need to rewrite the equation in terms of n. So n equals PV over RT. Cool. All right, we were given a couple of data points. The first data point we were given was 25 degrees Celsius. We need to convert that to degrees Kelvin in order to solve using our Pervnert equation. 25 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 298 degrees Kelvin. That's, that's how easy it is. Zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273 degrees Kelvin. So all you have to do is add that 273. All right, next let's take a look at the R constant. The R constant is a variable is a constant that will be given to you by your professor, teacher, textbook, whatever. You're not going to know it, but it was experimentally tested and it should be given to you. The one we're going to be using today is 82.054 centimeters cubed, K to the negative first power, mole to the negative first power, atmospheres. Okay. Notice these units. They're going to be really important. The reason we're going to be converting things is so that we can cancel with these units later. All right, next, let's take a look at volume. Volume was given to us as 1,750 milliliters. We need to convert that to centimeters cubed, as is present in the R constant. Fortunately, one milliliter is equivalent to one centimeter cubed. So let's do some basic stoichiometry. One centimeter cubed over one milliliter times 1,750 equals 1,750 centimeters cubed. Okay, cool. Finally, let's look at the last variable, pressure. Pressure was given to us at 1.0 atm. However, the system is at 25 degrees Celsius. That means we're going to need to consult a vapor pressure chart in order to find what the proper pressure is. If we look at the chart, we're going to find that at 25 degrees Celsius, the pressure is equivalent to 23 0.8 millimeters mercury. Now one millimeter, or sorry, at one atmosphere, that is equivalent to 760 millimeters mercury. That's again, just something you're going to need to know. So let's do the basic conversion. One atmosphere over 760 millimeters mercury equals a grand sum, a point, or sorry, should I say product, 0.03 one, three atmospheres. Now, we were given that initial pressure of 1.0 atm. We're going to need to subtract this at 25. So 1.0 atm minus 0.0313 atm equals 0.969 atm. So that's the pressure we're going to be plugging into our Pervnert equation. All right, we've got all our variables. Let's just take them all and plug them in. So pressure, 0.969 atmospheres, times volume, 1,750 centimeters cubed, all over our R constant, times our temperature, is going to equal N, or our number of moles. Okay, let's notice, all of these units are going to cancel with the exception of mole, which is good because that was the unit we wanted. If we then plug all these numbers into a calculator, we'll find that our N equals 0 0.0694 moles. Yay.